Mmm, a beautiful coffee. But where does it actually come from? I'm coffee expert Jordan Phillip, and I'm here, right here on the farm, with my friend Jamal. I'm here with one of our farmers. Now, as you can see, these are the beans that you use to drink in your coffee every morning. Weird, isn't it? Now, I'm actually here at the coffee plantation where the beans are getting washed and getting ready to get roasted. Now, I'm actually here where the beans are stored in these bags. As you can see, they're being laid down to be dried out and getting ready to be roasted. Let me just grab a handful here. Hmm. Yep. Quality beans. Now that we've talked about the production, here are the effects. Caffeine is an ingredient that can be found in many plants worldwide, and it is well known for its stimulating effect. The following effects may be experienced between 15 to 30 minutes after consuming caffeine and may continue for up to 12 hours. Feeling more alert and active, restfulness, excitability and dizziness, anxiety and irritability, dehydration and needing to urinate more often, higher body temperature, faster breathing and heart rate, headache and lack of concentration, and stomach pains. Regular and heavy use of caffeine may eventually cause osteoporosis, high blood pressure and heart disease, heartburn, difficulty sleeping, infertility, anxiety, depression, and needing to use more to get the same effect. Giving up on caffeine can be very challenging as it can cause many withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, sweating, muscle pains, anxiety and tension. We spoke to a teacher about the effects of coffee. Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. How often do you drink coffee? Well, I drink coffee every day and I suppose the next question is how many times a day? I would say at least three times. On a, on a bad day, maybe five. What does coffee feel like? Coffee feels like a glorious sunrise of the most perfect day of your life. And it's just all coming to you in that brown colored beautiful drink. It's like it's like a, a silky smooth ribbon of inspiration. That's what it tastes like, that's what it feels like. What happens when you miss your morning coffee? I miss my morning coffee. It doesn't happen very often, but it's kind of like you know, you ever been sitting down and then one of your legs falls asleep and you get up you only have one leg? A bit like that. What does it give you in the day? It's, it's a dependence. It's a bit like the people that smoke, they're dependent on nicotine. I need the caffeine. But it's not as addictive, obviously. But um, I, don't know, I feel like it, in, it raises my IQ about 25% instantly. You can send a kid to school for five years, his IQ is the same when he leaves as when he came in. But me, one good stiff coffee. I'm 25% smarter than I was when I got there. That's what it does for me. Do you drink coffee? Ah, what a great question. Of course I drink coffee. That is why I have so much energy right now. Um, I have my coffee container, which goes in the car from the house. I finish it at my desk, and then I make my second one. How often do you drink coffee? Uh, I drink coffee daily. Uh, usually only in the morning though. What does coffee do for you? Uh, what coffee does for me is it uh, provides a beautiful flavour uh, to experience and it also gives me a little bit of a kick to um, help me get started for the day. How do you feel when you drink coffee? Uh, slightly less tired usually and, um, and happy because I enjoy the flavour. Now we're actually here with the John Forrest student who loves coffee. What's your name? Oh, my name is Brian Miliavaka. So Brian, how often do you drink coffee? Well, I often drink it every, you know, 30 minutes. What type of coffee do you drink? Well, I drink a whole load of coffee. I drink a green coffee, a milk coffee, coffee coffee, ketchup coffee, Coffee, yeah, any kind of coffee. What does coffee do for you? Well, actually, coffee's my gamer fuel! And yeah, you just gotta get my gamer girl pee on, you know? What happens when you miss your morning coffee? I'll never know. 
and I've never missed it. You've never missed your I've morning coffee? I've never missed my morning coffee. You know, ever since really? I started, since I was the age of, you know, just two weeks old, my mom was like, I can't breastfeed this kid. He needs coffee. You know, just can't happen. Can't happen. I don't know what. I could die. I, I don't know. Where do you get your coffee from? Well, I get my coffee from the finest places in the world. Duh. Where else are you going to get them? Of course, from Woolworths. What is coffee to you? If I was Michael Jackson and coffee was a 12 year old boy, that's what coffee is to me. Has coffee ever affected your sleep? What sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs>